Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to be an artist, not really, but how to draw a realistic rose, and these are one of my drawings. I know, like, it's not that dark, I don't really like to make stuff, like, super dark, but I'll be teaching you how to draw a realistic rose. Let's get started. Okay, so, I'm sorry because I, I'm actually holding my own camera so i'm sorry and i know there's a lot of people talking in the background that's just my mother and my brother so i'm sorry okay so let's start the very base we're just gonna be like drawing and get many to this dark so you can see it like a very weird type of i don't know what is what can you call that but here Basically something like that and then you start from there to draw just curves and also from here. Okay, so I'm gonna be continuing to do that and, and you'll be seeing everything like the whole curve part. You can you can keep on doing all of this like and like until you have the perfect like circle circle i'm sorry or like the perfect shape that you want but you need to be super careful with this because this might like ruin the whole drawing so see you in a second okay so i worked my way and as you can see i've started with this and then worked my way to this it's not like a like a proper rose not like the fancy ones it's like mine i would um whenever i draw a rose i usually like love it and it looks like it's from the inside how does it look or like for how when the wind is blowing it how does it look honestly i really just like drawing it like that but you can draw a normal rose i'm gonna show you how to draw that in like a second okay and for me, I really like windy roses and like stuff, so I'm just gonna be like, you know, like cool wind lines or I don't know what are these called. I'm not gonna be drawing that in a really like dark way, cause it's just like wind. Then when you finish with that, you come here, then you from this, from like about the middle, draw a line, like a little bit curved. I'm going to darken that in like a second and make sure that this is like thin because it's like it doesn't really need to be like a thick like flower stem or whatever that's called oh yeah stem I'm sorry and I didn't really learn about flowers that much in school this is just an optional thing you can draw like a leaf over here I draw really weird leaves, but there you go. And there you go. What I really like to do, I don't really like to leave it that way. It looks like kind of plain. I'm gonna dark darken all of this in a second. And I like to put the line in the middle. One and there. Now it looks like. It does, you cannot really see it right now, but when I, I'm sorry, that's my hair. When, when like you, when I darken it, you can see it properly, I hope. I'm not going to really draw like a line. I'm just going to draw like a peak over here. And then there. And then there. That's it. I'm going to be darkening this in a second. And I'm going to show you the final result. Well, not really the final result before I'm gonna show you the final result of the drawing not the coloring and three two one okay so I darkened it and I hope you really can see it and this is like the final drawings and I'm gonna show you what colors that I like to use and I can I don't really use like red and green and that's it I like to like get in the dimensions and what dimension like details and stuff and before i finish there's like a, 
Like, I don't know, you can really, like, draw. I honestly forgot what is this called, but when I finish drawing it, you can see it. I'm gonna darken it right up so I cannot, like, like do the whole thing again. There. I'm sorry my filming's terrible because I'm filming myself and I'm done with the other hand. And wait, I need this to focus. Focus. It's not really focusing, but there you go. It's like a kind of a rose, kind of not, I don't know. It's just like a very nice, beautiful flower. And there you go. And I'm pretty sure you know what is this called. I always forget it, but there. And I'm gonna show you all the colors that I use. I just need to take them out because I filming. I'm just using a, a hand for drawings and stuff. I'm sorry. And three, two, one. Okay, so these are the colors, and it's like a. Dark green, white for highlights, like a matte red, it looks like it's a very, very light red, but it's honestly like a very dark matte. Mm, I'm sorry about that, my nails are so dirty. Oh my god, I know that looks so gross, but I swear I'm cutting... I'm chopping them <laughs> after this video so it's like a matte red it looks like an orange really really light one and like a tealish green that's super light and a light brown this is actually so light and it looks so dark okay so I did not need the pencil anymore. So first I'll be starting with the red. So what I'll be doing, you can you can like fill it in, but I would I really just like it to be light, so I would usually just go like this. Or you can just do this. It's okay, but just make sure that the color is distributed evenly. I'm gonna keep on doing this until it covers the whole thing. And then, I'm sorry, that's a henna stain. And then with the dark green, I'll, I'll be going in with it, not like filling it totally. Ida cannot even see that. I'm sorry. I'll be I'm not even gonna be filling it fully. I'm so sorry about that music. Somebody's calling my mother. There you go. Like that. That's not like fully colored. Fully colored in as you can see. And then I'm gonna go in with the like tealish green. And then use that to fill the rest in. So it's gonna make it look like really pretty green. Also totally filled in, but I'm gonna keep on working on that until it's fully filled in. And then for the leaves, actually, I will be using this teal first. Actually, okay, I need to sit down properly. Okay, there you go. I need to fill that in. I'm sorry, I this is so bad filming. Okay, so I'm just gonna be like. Like for example, I'll just gonna be like oops, doing this. Uh, like it's just like an outline for the part that I'll be coloring in green. Uh, 
and this teal greenish. I'm sorry. There you go. So I'm gonna be coloring the, this part, and then the rest of it will be a light. I meant a dark green, and then for this part, it will be. It's like the same thing, but not as much because it's only like a part of a part of a leaf. So I'm just gonna be coloring this part. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna be filling in with the dark green, and then with, for the brown, I'll be telling you that after I finish all the other things. So see you later. Okay, so now I'm done with this, with these three colors, and then I'm I honestly know that people are gonna say, "Where is this part?" Oh my god, my nails are disgusting. Well, I thought of it, and then like it looked pretty like weird. So and then I said, "It's okay. I don't really need that. Really, it's like a." Windy thingy, and I love that. I'm sorry, I'm just like super mad right now. And then with the brown, I would be like going in with this and around this part, just like a little, like maybe this part. And then, like, I'm only gonna be doing it in one side, so like that, and then from there. I'm just gonna keep on doing it. And from here, it's just like gonna be like, a, like this, probably. I cannot really explain that. It's just like a. There. Can give it more dimension. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And now I'm gonna do this part again. There. Oh, there's part. There you go. And then now for the white. Now for the white, I'll just be like going in with this part. Like the part that you think needs to be like more highlighted. If you can see that white, it's like super effective, it's super nice. I really like it. And these type of whites, you actually can see. So, I'm gonna go over all the things that I want to make highlights on. I'm gonna show you the final, final result. And I'm gonna show you the brand that I was using for the colors. And honestly, this pencil is like temperature changing color, or whatever that's called. Like you like hold it like this, it gets lighter. It's ah, oh no, the colors are just the color just rolled off. And then like, well, this whole thing is actually orange, but because of my hand temperature, it's hot, so it's changing to the color to white. Not too white, too yellow, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna show you the final result in a second. <gasps> okay, so I'm finished and this is the final result. result. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. This is terrible filming, I know. And this is the drawing. I'm gonna go beside the light a little bit. Let's see. And this was today's video and I hope you liked it and please share with your friends and like and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell I'm sorry for the terrible for the terrible filming again 
and I hope you like this tutorial on how to draw a realistic rose and I'll be filming after I finish eating my food I'll be filming another video to how to draw a very simple yet nice uh, rose that everybody can, everybody can draw it's super simple and see you later bye